space and shots for himself. He can take you off the dribble. He can hey, dance. Yeah. He is the most lethal marksman. Yeah. Halloween. Yeah. Blue jeans and ones and a white tee. Oh six hanging out the window like yeah. Hey, what's going on guys? Slyther here. Now today guys, I was sitting here watching Berwatis' vlog, watching Rugs' vlog. Pretty crazy stuff guys, you should go check it out. But yeah guys, I was watching it and I was pretty sad that there was no news to cover today. But then guys, all of a sudden, Nate Shot tweeted out. Now this was regarding the MLG.TV contract that he's in. Now if you guys don't know what MLG TV is, then you're probably stupid. Or maybe you just have no idea what esports is and then you should just stop watching this video because it's irrelevant to you anyway. Now guys, MLG TV is a streaming service, kind of like Twitch TV, but way worse and way less popular. Now this was kind of forced upon optic players and, and esports players to stream on this service and they were kind of like in the contract. But as MLG started seeing that people weren't liking their service and were trying to leave, the contract went bad just like Machinima did. Now guys, what I mean by this is that they started making locked in contracts, they started making auto renewal contracts, contracts, and as Birdman talked about in his last video, there's a bunch of people that tried to get out of it and somehow did, but there's still people like Rice Gum, Optic Nate Shot, Birdman, and one more guy I forgot, but they're all locked in this MLG.TV thing and they can't get out. Now guys, on to the tweets that Nate Shot put. Someone mentioned it, so Nate Shot tweeted out, Lots of people ask me why I haven't streamed in months, and I'll have a good explanation for you guys soon. And then he followed it up with, Just know that I spend tens of thousands of dollars on lures trying to get back to Twitch, but MLG is treating me like shit. Tens of thousands of dollars, guys. That's a lot of money, at least for me. And then he said, I've handled the situation as professionally as anyone could. I promise you that. I'll have a video this week laying out the facts. And then he continued that with saying, Also, just to clear, I have a great relationship with Activision and Blizzard. This has nothing to do with them at all. Now guys, this is pretty crazy stuff. Uh, a lot of people have been ranting against MLG. This is not something new. A lot of people hate MLG, a lot of esports people, and they've been able to get out of contract. And recently someone was actually playing porn so that they would get banned on MLG TV so that they could get out of the contract. I don't know how that ended up. I don't know how that would have worked, but maybe it did. I'm not really sure. Now, guys, one more thing. I'm sorry for my voice because it sounds pretty bad. I think I'm getting sick just to put that out there. But yeah, guys, it's pretty crazy stuff. I really hope Nate Shot could get out of this contract. There's nothing worse than, you know, those kind of programs like Machinima and, you know, MLG TV that lock people in just for the money. That's all they care about. And they ruin YouTubers careers and stuff like that just so they can get some money off of them. Now, yeah, guys, I'm Slather and I'll see you guys in the next news video. Peace. I always fool I was too young to die That's before I gazed upon that flawless life